this has to be the best survival island seed you are ever going to see. Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo. If you're just here for the seed, no problem. I'll also leave it in the description so you can just copy it, but the seed is 33523155922896 Again, it's down below, but stick around. There's so many amazing things that I need to show you. I am checking this out on the latest version of Bedrock, but it does work for Java as well. Here is the exact same seed on Java Edition. The only thing that's going to be different is the points of interest. Things like strongholds, ocean monuments, villages, apart from this one, and things like the amethyst geodes. Slightly different location, but the seeds are pretty much the same. So if you're looking for a seed, what are we saying? About 75% water, maybe a couple of islands, then this is the seed for you. Now, for me, I started right here. If you're new to my seed showcases, wherever you see a glowstone tower, that is a point of interest. I will typically search the first map in full detail. Anything outside the boundaries is for you to find. And if you find anything cool, leave the coordinates down below so other people can actually find them. So we spawn right here, right next to this. Now, the reason why this is a god tier seed is because it features not one, not two, not three, but actually four blacksmiths. This seed gets even better because if we go to forward slash game mode six which is spectator mode for the bedrock version. And we go down underneath the starter island is going to be the stronghold. I'm currently standing on the stronghold portal. The coordinates for this are 744-22-293. Absolutely perfect. Apart from the fact that it's only one eye vendor, so you're going to have to get the rest yourself. Doesn't look too much of a complicated stronghold too, so you're not going to have to break down a bunch of walls to find certain things. You literally come out of the stronghold room, and to the left-hand side, we have ourselves the library, which does have a sharpness three, and I think it's a loyalty book as well. Let's check out these blacksmiths one by one. Let's see what loot is available in all of these. So we have some iron armor, a few apples, a couple of ingots, some extra apples there. So iron and iron to start off with. This one is going to have, we have ourselves another chest plate. I'm wondering if we're going to get ourselves full armor here. Um, to be honest though, we've got a chest plate, two sets of leggings, so we can technically just keep these. If you're doing it with your friend, even better because you both get a set. We've got some iron ingots, so we could potentially make ourselves a helmet. One person's going to have a sword for now. Okay, so there should be another one next door to this one. Come on, be kind to us. This one has even more leggings. Okay, getting a bit serious now. Six obsidian. Ah, not bad. Even more apples. And one of your friends is now going to have a pick. So one of you can be the miner. One of you can be the swordsman. And then we have one more over here. Final one is going to give us... A. Hey, we have ourselves some boots. We actually have enough to make ourselves a portal. We now have 14 apples Six of them, you're not necessarily going to need the saplings, and we do have ourselves 11 of these. The left-hand side of this island, we have ourselves a jungle biome. It's only small, but you do have yourself some bamboo, and on occasions, you will have pandas spawning some pumpkins. And then right behind me, also near spawn, we do have ourselves a ruined portal, so you could probably save some of your obsidian here. I think the only ones, in fact, we only need, and then we've got some of these, one, two, three. That one doesn't matter, so if we were to get ourselves a flint and steel here, and we were to light this up, perfect. So you actually don't even need all that obsidian. Uh, inside of here, I mean, you've got yourself an unbreaking and efficiency gold pick, not the greatest. You do actually get some flint, so you can light the portal pretty early on. This could be a perfect... Uh, speedrun seed. Didn't think about that. Let's go and see what's on the opposite side. So we've spawned in here, which it does give you twisting vines. But check this out. If we go back to spectator mode and we go up, 
we're really close to the top of the bedrock in this. But if we go down, there is actually a fortress right next to you. You just got to go down. Obviously, be careful when you're doing this. But the cool thing about this is this thing is absolutely huge. Let me show you your first point of interest. You spawn on this island right there. Behind you is our first of two guardian temples. So if you wanted to make yourself a guardian farm, it's literally right next to your island. Also notice on the map, it's outlined as a little square as well. So yes, going in that direction, we're going to find another one. I don't usually go off the map, but Spawn Island, Guardian Temple, to the left-hand side of the Guardian Temple is a very big Mushroom Island. So if you're interested in them, it's going to be the middle bottom of your map. A little bit further up on your map, you are going to find a second Guardian Temple. To the left-hand side of that, we have ourselves an exposed Amethyst Geode. Not one of them, not two of them. We actually have three of them. In fact, we have multiple exposed amethyst geodes in this seed. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because in one of the snapshots in betas for Minecraft, they actually decreased the chances of these spawning above oceans. The developers said they were too easy to find and people weren't typically mining for them. So they reduced them apart from in this seed, it didn't seem to happen. I didn't mark them all out, but a little bit Ever on and the bottom left of your map there is another one there and there is another one there so if you're looking for the amethyst shards they're not too far from the second guardian temple and like i said you are going to find a bunch more not too far away from your spawn island we have come to the top left of your map and the reason why is because i found the smallest jungle i've ever experienced i know on the starter island we have a small jungle but this one's even smaller now, again, behind me, a little bit further in that direction, there is actually a bigger jungle, which you can see is in the middle top of your map. But uh, this one generated here. And once again, I did get pandas. There you go. There's a parrot. I did get parrots and pandas generating here, which was quite exposed. You just got to stay in this biome for a little bit of time and they will generate. Does come with the coca and also comes with these as well, which you can get on your starter island. But the other biomes at the top of the map, there is a birch forest, there is a savanna. Manage to find a plains, and then it goes into a jungle, which is highly likely going to have a jungle temple. But well, that's for you to go and find and leave the coordinates in the comments section. And then the further we go, which is the top right of the map, we did find another village here, which is next to the jungle but this one's not as cool as the starter island. It does not have a blacksmith available. But if you're looking for even more villages, then this is the location you're going to want to come to. Also very close to your island, we do have a shipwreck. In fact, this seed had a few of them, but most of them weren't that great. This one does come with a bunch of goodies, iron, etc. So at this point, you could probably have made both full sets of armor to begin with. A couple of emeralds to trade with. You've got ball of enchanting and some lapis. And then this does come with, I think it is a treasure map. Does it come with a treasure map? Come on, let, let me in, let me in. It does come with a treasure map, which looking at this is actually going to be on your island or near it. Let me find it for you. You are coming to these exact coordinates. 968, negative 424. Just dig down very carefully. You're going to find your chest. And it's not the best, I'm not going to lie. But you do have a couple of arm, a little bit of TNT and a heart of the sea. And considering you're probably going to spend a lot of time in the ocean, that's not bad. But unfortunately, no diamond. And that is why this is a perfect survival island seed. You spawn with a village, you have four blacksmiths, you have a stronghold underneath, you have yourself a portal with a perfect fortress spawn. And I don't think you're going to find a better one than this. If you do, let me know in the comments section. And if you find any more cool seeds for Minecraft, Java or Bedrock, let me know in the comments section. If you made this far in today's video, let me know in the comments section as well. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all in the next video.